Hey there guys, I'm Miguel Sanchez. Welcome to part five of my reaction to Peter John's Logan News 10. And and the and this video is almost over, my friends. We are getting closer to the end. Fear not, but fear not because there's more where I came from. So stay tuned for it. Do not miss it. All my video, all my series will return after I complete after I finish reacting to the complete video. So yes, I gotta give credit to Peter John. He was the one who made this happen. The link to his channel will be in the description down below. Make sure you go check it out. And if you haven't seen part four to my reaction, then that link is up there at the top right corner of the screen. So if you're interested, go check it out. Definitely could do so. Otherwise, guys, sit back and let's dive right back into the reaction. This should be pretty awesome. I know I'm trying to do it, but yes, fear not. All right, enough talk. Let's continue. Here we go. All right, guys, here we go again. Let's resume. All right, now I'm gonna talk about Esther Parides Certain and Sugas Candifan. I've talked about it in the episode 303 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. It is a YouTube channel that was created on March 6, 2012, and which has 91 subs at the time I'm doing this video. Oh boy, 2022 to the present, he changed its name from Cookie Monster A N D T H E A M F F A N V O Y 1990 <laughs> to Esther Parada Certain and Sugas Candifan. There are the words Angry Birds and Space in white text on a black outline, and under it, there is a blue and purple Cheetos package, and on the right of it, there is a picture of a TV. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about the holiday frog. I've talked about it in the episode 307 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. Here we go again. It is a YouTube channel that was created on April 2nd, 2018, and which has 374 subs at the time I'm doing this video. Whoa, again. 2022 to the present, he changed its name from Freddy the Jemmy Christmas Cat to the Holiday Frog. There is Santa Claus a snowman and a frog coming out a red gift. Alright, now I'm gonna Whoa. talk about Cheese 7. I've talked about it in the episode 308 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. It is a YouTube channel that was created on June 23, 2018 and which has 799 subs at the time I'm doing this video. Wow. 2022 to the present, he changed its name from CJ Pictures to CHESE7. Wow. There is a green character wearing a black hat with the word Chase7 in blue text on it. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Snip Snap Productions FCC The Spider Fanatic. I've talked about it in the episode 316 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. It is a YouTube channel that was created on September 14th, 2020 and which has 343 subs at the time I'm doing this video. I know, I love 2022 it. 2022 to the present, he changed its name from Firster Creations to Snip Snap Productions FCC The Spider Fanatic. There is a pink square, and inside it there is a black square with a white ring, and the letters FC and C in white text on it, and the square also has two eyes, two arms, two legs, and a mouth. Alright, now I'm gonna talk about Sec Vestal. I've talked about it in the episode 321 of Logo History, what? and its logo has changed in 2022. It is a YouTube channel that was created on December 30th, 2019 and which has 362 subs at the time I'm doing this video. Whoa. 2022 to the present, there are some red, blue, green, and yellow rectangles, and on them there is a white circle on a black outline and coming out from it there is an old Chuck E. Cheese, and under the rectangles there are the words Sec and Vestal in red and yellow text. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about baby lamb creations. Wow. -y. I've talked to- Oh boy about it in the episode 323 of logo history and its logo has changed in 2022 wow. it is a youtube channel that was created on march 22nd 2016 and which has 139,000 subs at the time i'm doing this video Whoa, 2022 dude. to the present there is a blue and red gradient square and on it there is a character's face on a blue and red gradient outline all right now i'm gonna talk about gabriel the gamer collector and window shopper 
I've talked about it in the episode 326 of Logo History, on, and its yeah. logo has changed in 2022. That was a lot. It is a YouTube channel that was created on July 25th, 2019, and which has 358 subs at the time I'm doing this video. Oh. 2022 to the present, he changed its name from Gabriel the Gamer S2012 to Gabriel the Gamer, Collector, and Window Shopper. There are a bunch of game consoles logos such as the Xbox logo, the PS2 logo, the Sega logo, the Nintendo DS logo, the Nintendo YE logo, the Dreamcast logo, and many more. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Rugrats, the Brothers Flub and Catscrit Lover 2000. I've talked about it in the episode 329 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. Go for it! It is a YouTube channel that was created on February 4th, 2015 and which has 14.3 thousand subs at the time I'm doing this video. 2022 to the present, there is the Gunther Wall Productions logo the Wilkins Coffee logo a Transformers character and another character. Alright, now I'm gonna talk about a comedy future is back a number band Brick Hill Sus. <laughs> I've talked about it in the episode yeah. 330 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. It is a YouTube channel that was created on September 18th, 2020 and which has 800 subs at the time I'm doing this video. 2022 to the present, he changed its name from comedy animate Hello Kitty FTW True Kingdom to a comedy future is back a number Banbrakilsis. <laughs> there are the <laughs> words funny. Yuris Die and Fudu in grey text on a white outline, and on it there is a black and green character. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Blue Sun Kyle Tube. I've talked about it in the episode 333 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. Wowee. It is a YouTube channel that was created on December 26, 2020 and which has 626 subs at the time I'm doing this video. That was funny. 2022 no. to the present, he changed its name from KSTVE to Blue Sun Kyle Tube. There are the letters T O V A K and I in yellow and green text. All right. Now I'm gonna talk about Retro Galaxy. I've talked about it in the episode 334 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. It is a YouTube channel that was created on July 19, 2014 and which has 676 subs at the time I'm doing this video. Now you know. 2022 to the present, there is a purple gradient square, and inside it there is a white galaxy. Here is an intro. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about P.O. and Friends. I've talked about it in the episode 336 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. It is a YouTube channel that was created on March 5, 2019 and which has 115 subs at the time I'm doing this video. 2022 to the present, she changed its name from Pinkythiashiplover2021 to P.O. and Friends. There is a character wearing blue and grey clothes, and with my face on the shirt, while holding two characters one pink with pink hair and wearing pink clothes, and one man with black hair, and wearing a dark blue shirt. Alright, now I'm gonna talk about the Kerwiz Home Delivery Fan 2021. Whoa, I've yeah. talked about it in the episode 339 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. It is a YouTube channel that was created on February 12th, 2013 and which has 936 subs at the time I'm doing this video. Oh yeah, go for 2022 now. to the present, he changed its name from Juan Carlos Perez the Mashi Monsters Fan 2021 to the Kerwiz Home Delivery Fan 2021. There are a bunch of colorful characters, and under them there is a silver shape on a black outline, and on it there are four purple shapes on a red outline, and between them there is a purple circle on a red outline, and on it there is a red letter K. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Bacon Hair Reboot. Whoa, I've talked about it in the episode 341 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. It is a YouTube channel that was created on November 7, 2019. I know. 2022 to the present, she changed its name from Bacon Hair Girl to Bacon Hair Reboot. There are two green rectangles, and between them there is a black rectangle, and on it there is a white letter B, and on it there are the letters B and R in white text, and under them there is a green line, and under it there are the words bacon hair and reboot in white text. Here is an intro. Oh Alright, now I'm gonna talk Let's about see. reopen. I've talked about it in the episode 343 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. 
that is a YouTube channel that was created on April 19th, 2020 and which has 67 subs at the time I'm doing this video. It was crazy. 2022 to the present, he changed its name from Pinkfong is Dead, to reopen. There is a pink fox face wearing a crown on a black and white outline, and under the face there is the word pink and black text on a white outline. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about MBJ. I've talked about it in the episode 348 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. It is a YouTube channel that was created on January 21st, 2013 and which has 71.4 thousand subs at the time I'm doing this video. 2022 to the present, there is a purple blue pink, and dark blue square, and on it there is a white ring, and on it there is a white and black diamond shape, and inside the ring there is a character with blue hair and wearing brown and white clothes smelling and holding a black cube with the letters M, B and J in pink, purple and blue text on it. Here is an intro. M, B, J. That's good. M, B, J. Viva Jose. All right, now I'm gonna talk about Canal Consola. Well, I've talked about it in the episode 349 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. He is a Brazilian screenwriter and director. He is the founder of Conzilla Records, which is a music video production company and record label often credited for being the main popularizer of Funk Estentacao. He currently owns the largest YouTube channel in Brazil and Latin America, and the third largest music channel in the world, with 65.9 million subscribers and 36 billion views. 2022 to the present, there is a blue, pink, purple and yellow gradient square, and on it there is the word Kanzilla in white text. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Quagmire Toilet Gaming 27B subscribers. Whoa, I've talked amazing. about it in the episode 354 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. It is a YouTube channel that was created on December 10th, 2019, and which has 465 subs at the time I'm doing this video. 2022 to the present, he changed its name from a newer Brabant Bolsol de Birioa to Quagmire Toilet Gaming 27B subscribers. There is Karen from SpongeBob Squarepants holding Plankton. All right, now I'm gonna talk about Guy. I've talked about it in the episode 355 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. It is a YouTube channel that was created on January 29, 2021, and which has 306 subs at the time I'm doing this video. Wow. 2022 to the present, he changed its name from Skylam to Guy. There is a Roblox character. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Gelatin. I've talked about it in the episode 356 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. It is a YouTube channel that was created on September 18th, 2020, and which has 12.4 thousand subs at the time I'm doing this video. 2022 to the present, there is an American flag, and on it, there is a green jelly wearing an American hat and an American tie with an eyebrow, two eyes, two legs, two arms and a mouth holding an American flag. Alright, now I'm gonna talk about Antenna Man. I've talked about it in the episode 363 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. He is an American YouTube reviewer who specializes on TV antennas, and often gives tips, reviews and installs TV antennas. He also talks about cord cutting, and its community. 2022 to the present, there is a picture of the antenna man with an antenna on his head. Here is an intro. Antenna man. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about 123 goes plus. I've talked about it in the episode 368 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. It is a YouTube channel that was created on November 23, 2015. No, 2022 no to the present, he changed its name from Joseph Goes to 123 Goes Plus. There is a yellow glowing ring, and on it there is a dark green green and light green letter G. Alright, now I'm gonna talk about Nemao. I've talked about it in the episode 384 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. It is a YouTube channel that was created on December 10, 2012, and which has 302,000 subs at the time I'm doing this video. 2022 to the present, there are two characters one pink wearing a pink skirt and a pink hair bow, and one white wearing a black jacket and a blue shirt. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Surrey Legend 2014. Whoa, I've talked know. about it in the episode 385 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. 
It is a YouTube channel that was created on June 25th, 2020, and which has 107 subs at the time I'm doing this video. Yeah, I love it. 2022 to the present, he changed its name from Fast Food Feet to Surrey Legend 2014. Come on. There is a British flag and on it there are two flags, one red with silver Ferrari logo on it, and one with a blue and yellow checkboard, and under the flags, there are the words Surrey Legend and 2014 in black text, and under them there is a yellow character, and surrounding them, there are some logos, such as the Pizza Hut logo, the Domino's logo, the Burger King logo, the McDonald's logo and the KFC logo. Alright, now I'm gonna talk about Super Mario Simon. Know, I've talked about it in the again. episode 392 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. It is a YouTube channel that was created on June 15, 2018, and which has 13 subs at the time I'm doing this video. Wow. 2022 to the present, there is a picture of a boy wearing gray clothes in front of a tied car. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Baby Mario. I've talked about it in the episode 393 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. This is it. it is a YouTube is channel that was created on February 25th, 2019, and which has 5 subs at the time I'm doing this video. 2022 to the present, there is Baby Mario wearing a red Mario hat and red and blue clothes. Alright, now I'm gonna talk about Red Ninja. I've talked about it in the episode 393 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. It is a YouTube channel that was created on May 9, 2019 and which has 693,000 subs at the time I'm doing this video. Oh boy, 2022 this is to the present, there is a black ring on a golden outline and coming out from it there is a drawing of a man with blue eyes wearing a black cap and purple red black and white clothes while holding a sword and with two swords on his back. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Citrus Anima Fan 2022. <laughs> I've talked good. about it in the episode 395 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. It is a YouTube channel that was created on April 29, 2021, and which has 20 subs at the time I'm doing this video. Oh, 2022 to the present, he changed its name from Param Kabli Text Story to Citrus Anima Fan 2022. There are the letter D and G in purple, and yellow text, and under them there are the words Citra and Cinema in yellow text. Alright, now I'm gonna talk about the Zone ABF. I've talked about it in the episode 397 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. Well, it is a YouTube good. channel that was created on May 29, 2020 and which has 13.7 thousand subs at the time I'm doing this video. 2022 to the present, he changed its name from Alphabet Fan to the Zone ABF. There is a picture of a beach, and on it there is a yellow E with a mouth wearing a black hat, and a pair of black sunglasses, while using a yellow float. Okay, now That's I'm good. gonna talk about Kai, texting animation channel. I've talked about it in the episode 402 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. It is a YouTube channel that was created on May 24, 2021 and which has 66 subs at the time I'm doing this video. Oh boy. 2022 to the present, he changed its name from Kai Texting Story Channel to Kai Texting Animation Channel. There is a red and green gradient square, and on it there is a character with black hair wearing a pair of sunglasses, and a blue shirt while smiling. Alright, now I'm gonna talk about Yellow Sheep. Yeah, I've talked it. about it in the episode 407 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. It is a YouTube channel that was created on November 19, 2019 and which has 6.49 thousand subs at the time I'm doing this video. Here we go again. 2022 to the present, he changed its name from Yellow Sheep Please Subscribe Give Me Views to Yellow Sheep. There is an orange square, and inside it there is a character's face with a mustache, and wearing a pair of black sunglasses. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Patricia's StreamYards, official channel. That's I've talked about it in the episode 412 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. It is a YouTube channel that was created on August 20th, 2021, and which has 49 subs at the time I'm doing this video. Here I go again. 2022 to the present, she changed its name from Patricia's StreamYards, Nintendo 3DS to Patricia's StreamYards, official channel. The logo hasn't changed. Yep, Alright, now I'm All gonna right. talk about Horse Folder. I've talked name, about it in the episode the 418 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. He is an American YouTube animator cartoonist that specializes in 2D animation who is formerly best known for his Mugman series. Oh 2022 boy. to the present, he changed its name from Lenstar Productions to Horse Folder. 
There is a horse coming out of a folder, and on the folder there are the words horse and folder in red and green text on a black outline, and under the folder there is the word productions in black text. Here is an intro. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about Machinishi is back. I've talked about it in the episode 420 of Logo History, and its logo has changed in 2022. It is a YouTube channel that was created on October 22nd, 2021, and which has 2.83 thousand subs at the time I'm doing this video. 2022 to the present, he changed its name from Makinish 2021 to Makinishi is back. There is a red square, and on it there is the word Makinish in yellow, green, and red text. And that is where we're gonna stop right here. So yeah, that's it guys. That is gonna do it for part five to my reaction of Peter John's Logan News 10. And the next time I see you, we'll be in part six. And this will be the final part of my reaction to Peter John's Logan News 10. So stay tuned for the final part for the finale of my reaction coming real soon. Until then, I will leave the link in the description down below so that you can go to so you can go subscribe to Peter John's YouTube channel, give him a like, give him a subscribe, all the good stuff. I highly recommend you can do so. And if you want to go catch up on all past reaction videos, we got a playlist for you. And I'll put it up there at the top right corner screen. So click on the link up above and catch it anytime you want. After I finish reacting to, to that, I'll be I'll go, I'll go back to my regular videos. <coughs> and I hope you have a very fantastic day. Be on the lookout for more content coming your way real soon, including 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 a new episode of Pokemon Explanation, where we'll be about Venusaur at Inside Over Crossing, where it's about Alice. Be on the lookout for these two videos coming soon, plus a compilation video for local reviews, looking back at all. 25 logos of season 3. So be on the lookout for that as well. And also logo history. Where we'll be, where we'll be about the Miami Marlins. So be on the lookout for that as well. Otherwise, that's it for today. For the rest of the video, I'll check out for now. Thanks for watching. Again, go check out Peter John. Link is in the description down below. I'm because it's such a say up. I'll see you in part 6 coming soon. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. I'll see you guys in another video. Laters!